make our competition. You need to make an example of whoever this is. Stay away from him. Back. She ain't gonna bother you no more. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, tonight, we're going to be talking about Power Book 3, Raising Canaan, Season 3, Episode 8. This is the final predictions. So, down below, I want you guys to give me your final predictions of this episode. Will we be smoking on that Juliana pack? Well... I'm thinking we are, man, based off what we've been seeing in these trailers and, you know, in the last episode. I'm pretty sure Juliana's days are pretty much numbered. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Now, I will be going over some of those exclusive pictures. And then after that, we're going to go over that trailer one last time to give those final predictions. Now, the title of the episode is called Reckonings. And the description of the episode reads, As a despondent Lou becomes a liability for the family, Rack and Marvin work to get the new heroin operation up and running amidst new competition from Kanan and Ronnie. So those are the key things that we're going to have to look out for in this latest episode of Raising Kanan. As I told you guys, it's an episode eight. So you already know a body will be getting dropped off. And I believe that body most likely is going to be your girl, Juliana. And also, when are they going to find Unique's body? Because it's been, what, episode six, seven, that'll be on episode eight. Will they finally find his body and give that man his proper goodbye? Well, I guess we're going to see what they give us in this episode. But let's hop right into it. Let's go over some of these exclusive pictures. And based off this picture right here, we can tell Jukebox and Naisha, they're about to have a very interesting conversation. I hope we get the answer of that you know, fan theory on whether she's pregnant or she has an eating disorder. We need to find out in this episode, but... This conversation, or at least this picture, looks like they're talking about something very serious. And we also see your boy Lulu. Y'all saw that exclusive clip. If y'all have it, check it out. It's on the channel. Your boy Lulu is about to turn up in this episode. And based off these pictures, we know Rock's going to try her best to clean him up and get him together. Um, we know Mom, she will be back. And look at that burnt piece of bread. Like, what the hell is going on? I mean, come on. Now, this picture right here, we can see Marvin... And it's looking like he's going out to eat, kicking it with Gerald and his daughters. Most likely, he is continuing to give him information about Jukebox, the story that Gerald is supposed to be writing. But I got that funny feeling. This whole storyline is about to start turning in a very bad way. Marvin, watch yourself because Gerald, he could not be trusted. Now, in this picture right here, we can see Kanan kicking it with Crystal. We already know they're going to be all over each other in this episode. And I want to know how Jukebox and Aisha will feel about this once it gets out. And in this picture right here, we can see the girls most likely continuing to prepare for the opening to, uh, I guess, for Shanice at the mall or whatever. And we also know they should be shooting a music video soon as well. Now, this is the thumbnail for the episode with Jukebox. And I'm pretty sure this is where she's going to get jumped by these girls. And that's the scene that I cannot wait to see. Now, this picture right here, we can see your boy Famous with a tape in his hand. I want to know if they're going to finally put that song out because I want to see everybody's reactions once they end up hearing it. And in this picture right here, we can see Rock. She's having a conversation with that Chinese guy that we saw in the last episode. Maybe they worked out a deal. Now, let's go over this trailer one last time to get those final predictions. Now, I believe that Rock is going to try to mess up Kanan's operation in this episode. Of course, she will learn about Ronnie and Juliana. I told you guys, I believe that conversation will be had with her and Pernissa. And once Rock gets that intel, I believe you're going to see that conversation with her and Joaquin. As you can see right here, this is also one of those exclusive pictures that they put out. We talked about this a few days back. And as I told you guys, Joaquin, he may end up giving out that okay for Rock to go ahead and take out Juliana because she's going behind his back, making moves with Ronnie after he's already told her not to do it. So I cannot wait to see how this is all going to play out. Now, Rock will hear from Quan that they got new competition out there. And that's because Ronnie and Kanan, they putting in that work. And he's going to want her to set that example. So I told you guys in that What to Expect video that Rock, 
she will be going to Marvin as we saw in that trailer. And we know Marvin, he is going to put in some work. He is going to make it hard for Kanan and his boys to make this money. And we know Marvin is going to knock old boy off his bike. I definitely cannot wait to see this. Now, we also know that Rock will be having a conversation with Snap and Pop Henry. My final prediction is this. Based off that exclusive clip, we know all this is going to do is create more problems for Rock. Because Snaps is pissed off that she is telling him what to do to stay away from Kanan. He ain't going. And it seems like he wants to prove to Rock that he still got it. That he can still be a threat to her, right? So expect to see a very intense scene. And most likely the start of a new war. Because it seems like they ain't really giving a damn about Ronnie. This is more personal for them. Now, we also know that your girl Jukebox will be getting jumped in this episode. My final prediction is this. I'm hoping and praying Jukebox can hold her own and she can lay one of these girls out. I hope she doesn't catch a body up in here because she can't afford that, especially with all these people around. But regardless of all that, Jukebox, she's going to have to do what she has to do to hold it down, man. And I want to know who in the hell sent these girls. Y'all let me know down below who y'all think it is. Did Ronnie send them? Was it Crystal? I mean, we're going to find out soon enough, but whoever it is, they going to pay. Now, we also know that your boy Lulu, he will be drunk. Confessions Part 3 is coming tonight. Can't wait to see it. He needs to be neutralized. He needs to be stopped quickly because if not, he's going to cost the family a whole lot. So I believe Rock will try her best to help him out. And we know Mom, she will be back in the episode, as I told you, in those exclusive pictures. We know Rock will be giving her some more money. And, you know, we're going to see like a family thing going on with the Thomas family. Now, as I told you guys, I believe Rock will be dropping off Juliana. I already broke it down in the video that I did this week about is her next move the end of Juliana. And we know based off some of the pictures, uh, I guess the official trailer as well from the area that Rock is at. It really does seem like she's in the same spot that we saw Juliana in where Ronnie and her was having a conversation at her, you know, her house. The ceilings match, very similar you know, backgrounds as well. And I believe Rock. Well, go ahead and get rid of her. I mean, she deserves it. Rock has already told her she's out of her weight class. Joaquin even told her, just leave all of this alone. Stay away from Ronnie. And he also told her that you need to worry about her coming at you, right? So I believe that's exactly what we're going to end up seeing. And as I told you guys, don't be surprised if Joaquin don't really give a damn. Or if he ends up giving the okay based off what Juliana has been doing behind his back. But... All this is going to do is create more issues for Ronnie. We know he's going to be upset that his plug could be gone, right? And if that is the case, y'all know he's going to try his best to get rid of Rock to neutralize her. The question is, how will Kanan feel about it? We know in the trailer he was talking about, she's never going to bother you again. Is he talking about Rock? Is he talking about Jukebox or whatever? Well, we're going to find out soon enough. But as I told you guys, I don't believe that Kanan wants Ronnie to hurt his mind, regardless of what Rock is out there doing to his business or whatever. I just don't think he wants that to go to that type of level. But we are definitely going to find out in episode 8. You guys, y'all leave y'all final predictions down below. And also, y'all let me know what y'all think is going to happen with Howard in this whole task force thing. I mean, he did not tell Rock about Marvin and how they're getting close to him. So I believe this is all going to blow up, especially with Detective Burke's dad starting to dig in to figure out what really happened to his daughter. So... We're going to find out soon enough. But I want to thank you guys once again for all the love, all the support. I will catch you guys tonight for the quick thoughts, early impressions. So stay tuned for that. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.